Hello, my name is Dr. David Highmarsh, and this is a GP Templates How To Guide. In this guide, we're looking at how to upload files onto System One so that then you can use them. Uh, these files will be in the .xml format, so when you purchase a template from myself, this is the file that I'll be sending to you. So let's get on in System One and let's see how we do it. Okay, so let's get right in. As you can see here, we're going to go on Setup, Data Entry, New Template Maintenance, and along the top box here, we're going to hit Import Templates. This has automatically taken us to the desktop because that's where I've just saved this actual file. But wherever you've saved the file, just use the boxes you would do with any file on Windows to actually find the template that you want. Click on the template, hit Select, and it will give you an actual uh, view of the template of the front page that we all know and the design. So if we hit Preview, we know it's ours because we've got the old tagline of speed, knowledge, safety. Hit. Uh, so we go back onto details. That's fine. Let's make sure we know where it's going to go. Let's put it into clinical so we know where we're going to find it. And then hit OK. Yes. And it's just popping up because it's currently a draft. So we haven't published it yet. So we can still tinker about with it. And we've got it there. And if you look back on, if we just click off clinical onto something else, it should be there. Failing that, we'll click on unpublished and hit search again. We'll try that once more, just hit Suffolk. And there it is, all there, good to go. So we know it's unavailable until published. The tick box means that it's not active at the current unit. And then it's there, all good to go, all ready for us to use, okay? So once we have hit published, which I'm not gonna do on this template, to actually find it so we can use it day-to-day -day practice, let's pick out one of our other templates to find. So there are multiple ways of doing this. The best one that, or a quick way to do it, depending on your setup, is if you go at the bottom left-hand corner of your System 1 screen and type in the name of the template. So let's type in sick child, and you'll see here, at the top it says assessing the sick child. Click on that. It's flagging this up because we're in an adult patient, our Tommy test. Um, we hit yes anyway so we can and as you see we've got our template there wonderful so as you can see this video has shown us how we can upload our template files or the .xml files and how one simple way of accessing the template once we're in a patient's notes please like this video and leave any comments down below if you uh, have any suggestions for any further vid videos that you would like to see in the how-to guide. Please follow me on uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, GP underscore templates. And if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact, admin at uh, gptemplates.co.uk. Many thanks for watching and happy template building.